beats by Obi Wan Kenobi. Try that, man. What's up, motherfuckers? Chris Hallowicky coming at you with a new trailer action video. And today we're gonna check out the first follow-up to Avengers Endgame, which is Spider-Man Far From Home. Which, from what I understand, is... takes place after Endgame. There's some speculation o over whether it was a prequel, like Ant-Man and the Wasp, or if it was a sequel. Well, not a direct sequel, but a continuation of the MCU. So, uh, yeah. It dropped 20 hours ago. Sorry, I'm late on this. 32 people are gonna watch this video, but um, yeah, let's, let's give it a go anyway. And uh, three, two, one. The Spider-Man Far From Home trailer is about to play, but if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, stop watching because there's some serious spoilers about to come up. Stop but watching now, in Avengers it? Endgame. Enjoy the trailer. Enjoy the trailer, in it. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. You going to be the next Iron Man now? Well, no, I don't have time. I'm too busy doing your job. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look, keep up the good work because I am going on vacation. Heads up. Nick Fury's calling me. I don't really want to talk to Nick Answer Fury. Answer Why? Because if you don't talk to him, then I have to talk, but I don't want to talk to him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. Hey, Dirks. What's up? We're just talking about this trip. I'm here in St. Marco Polo. Oh, I think MJ really likes me. I'm gonna do my personal love. You're a very difficult person to contact, Spider-Man. This is Mr. Beck. I could use someone like you on my world. Your world, Beck, is from Earth, just not ours. The snap to our home in our dimension. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do. You're coming with us. There's gotta be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. The who's the friendly neighborhood Spider Man? Bitch, please, you've been to space. What do you want, Peter? I want to go back on my trip with the girl who I really like and tell her how I feel. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. You're right, you may not be ready, but this is my responsibility. Saving the world requires sacrifice. Sometimes people die. I feel like I'm putting my friends in danger. The world needs the next Iron Man. You're going to step up or not? I mean, it looks cool. It looks like it's gonna be a good movie, but this is not the Spider-Man movie that I want at all. What the fuck is this based off of? Mysterio's costume looks cool, but what the fuck is this based off of? Is this, and maybe, and maybe it's from Ultimate Spider-Man? I mean, a lot of the MCU seems to be based off Ultimate, the Ultimate MCU universe. Uh, a lot of it, especially uh, from, from the beginning. Uh, uh, Nick Fury being based off of a, well, Samuel L. Jackson playing Nick Fury that started in the Ultimate Universe and a lot of other stuff is carried over from there. But what is this? I don't want Spider-Man to be Iron Man. I want Spider-Man to be Spider-Man. So now we got this young Spider-Man and he's, in the first movie he's in Washington DC as Spider-Man and then he's in fucking, now he's in the U, the, bloody all England, not in it. That's how you say it. <laughs> um, fucking, uh, 
doing other shit. Like, I don't want Spider-Man to be the next Iron Man. I want Spider-Man to be Spider-Man. I want the M... I want Kevin Feige and the MCU people to do street-level Spider-Man stuff. I don't want this grand-scale shit. And what the fuck is up with Mysterio? Mysterio knows who he is. Mysterio now knows that we know from the trailer. They're showing so much shit. And I... I, I mm, if Sony cut this trailer together and they overshowed us again, I'm uh, so mad because they spoiled so much of Spider-Man Homecoming. Fucking, uh, and again, this movie looks good, but I'm getting angry. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want Spider-Man to be in New York and do New York stuff, and I want the MCU to execute that. We've gotten... The good Sam Raimi movies and, and uh, the ones who I don't like at all, especially the second one. The first one's kind of okay, but the Andrew Garfield ones. I want the MCU to turn into things. Instead, they're just using Spider-Man to carry on their bigger story. We don't need S.H.I.E.L.D. We don't need none of that stuff. We don't need any other... We don't need this to tie in any of the MCU. Isolate Spider-Man and have him have an isolated story. You face a villain where... He doesn't have the help of Happy Hogan or Happy Hogan, is that right? I and uh, or or Iron Man or Iron Man uh, Stark technology. Have him just be Peter Parker, having a dealership by himself and growing because now we're wasting all of this twenty-year-old guy's Tom Holland's teenage movie years on these high-stakes missions where I'm just like, have him fight. A, I have a smaller stakes movie. I don't know. I don't like the direction this is going with Spider-Man. And I've grown to like Homecoming less. Even though they're, it's a good movie. And this is probably going to be a perfectly fine and fun movie. It's just... No. Drag Spider-Man away from all of the bigger picture of the MCU. And have him have his little stories over here. Obviously, it's not going to happen in this movie, but, uh, maybe someday. Anyway, thanks for watching, motherfuckers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bomb for notification. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, stay metal and hail Satan. Bye. <laughs>